Hey coaches, in today's video I'm going to go over three different ways we run our Y Cross series. Hey coaches, Coach Mackey here and welcome to my channel. This channel is dedicated to the spread offense and if you enjoy learning about the spread offense then smash that subscribe button and if you find this video helpful then please give it a thumbs up. In today's video I'm going to go over how we run our Y Cross series and to me I think the Y Cross is actually better than the four verticals because there's no route conversions and that doesn't confuse the quarterback. This is a simple process of one, two, three to four and within that there's some leeway for the wide receivers to get open. Now if you do something different then please leave a comment below. I love to learn from you guys and I want to get better at this because I'm going back and forth between either the four verts or Y cross and I'm starting to settle on the Y cross as a part of our package for down the field shots. The first way we like to run our Y cross series is out of our two by two set and everyone knows what to run because we are in the same formation every time when we go two by two. The Y is always to the right, the F is always to the left. So when we run Y cross here, the L wide receiver has got a mandatory outside release vertical. And what the quarterback's doing is that is the first read. So he's going, he's taking his three step drop, one, two, three. Is there a different color jersey in this grass area? No, then he's throwing it. If on that third step he plants and he sees a different color jersey in this area, then he's hitching up and his next read is the F, who is running a 10-yard out. Now I know a lot of the Tony Franklin system in the end zone, they like to have this guy as a 5-yard out, but I found a 10-yard out actually works well, especially against teams that like to run the, the palms coverage or the, the quarters. So this vertical will take this corner and it'll essentially turn man-to-man, -man, leaving this, the F, on with the safety man-to-man. -man. Now most palm coverages, they shade inside because they don't want to give up that post. Well, that works in our favor because the F is not running a post, he's running an out. So that guy is already inside leverage of the F, which gives him a great chance on that out route. So this is the first read, quarterback doesn't like it, hitches up. If there is no uh, different color jersey in this grass area, the quarterback is throwing it. If this safety is a player and he gets underneath this out route, then the third uh, route is the cross. And another good thing about this route right here is if this safety does get it, then the crossing route is wide open. Now, it's very important you teach this up. The rules are the Y has to go underneath the Sam or the guy that's either head up to inside of him and then over top every other linebacker. So it's under the Sam, over the mic. And he is looking for a point 18 to 22 yards down the field to the opposite hash. But here's the thing. If he finds grass, he settles up and puts his hands out just like the settle up in noose drill. That's where that drill can, you can show your kids that, hey, we're doing this drill because it helps in this route. So first route right here, no. Second one, no. Third one, is this open? Is there a different colored jersey in this grass? No, throw it. Is one of these guys dropping back or this safety come over and get it? And that means there's color in that grass. Yes, you hitch up and you go to your last read, which is the 10-yard dig. And, and the R knows that he is the last guy, so it really doesn't have to bust his ass off the line. He just needs to go 10 yards and then find grass inside. So once he hits 10, he's planting, and then he's finding grass in front of him just showing up hands. Now, the tailback, we like to do a couple of things. We like to usually just block them, and then if 1,001, 1,002, no one's coming, then we leak them out to the flats. And this right here, these two for the quarterback is the oh shit. So he's going vert, out, cross, oh shit, I'm feeling pressure. I'm looking for the dig to the running back. Here we are, coaches. We're in our two by two Y cross. He has got the vert. He has got the out. He has got the cross and he has got the 10 yard dig. And I want you to notice how he goes underneath the Sam over top the mic and he's looking for the grass area. So you see one, two, three plant doesn't like it. He finds the grass area. He's wide open. The second way we like to run the Y cross is out of our two back set. And the only thing that changes is the F's route. So we're going Y cross. That means the L knows that he has got the mandatory outside release. So the quarterback, he catches the ball. One, two, three. Is there color in this area? No. Throw it. One, two, three. Is there color in this area? Yes. Then he's going to his next read, which is the F. Now the F is trying to push it 10 yards and running the out. 
I know that's difficult from the backfield. It usually winds up to be about a six or seven yard route. So he, it's still an out, but the quarterback's responsibility is still the same. We still have this right here. So no, then he's hitching up. He's looking right here. Now this puts the elf, who's one of your fastest players, because remember, he's an elf. He's, he's the fast guy on a backer because this safety will be dropping back. So no, hitch, is there color in this area? No, throw it. Is there color in this area? Yes, then you're hitching, and the Y is still running his same route. Underneath the Sam, over top the mic, 18 to 22 yards on the other hash, and he is looking for grass to settle up and throw his hands. So this is a no hitch. This is a no hitch. Is there a different color jersey in this area? No, then you're throwing it. Is there a different color jersey in this area? Yes, then you're hitching, and you're going back to the dig. 10-yard dig. And remember, this R, you're, you're coming off, but you're really the oh shit. You're just finding 10 yards, you're finding grass, and you're throwing up hands. Tailback, you're doing the same thing. You're checking to see if anybody's coming pass protection-wise. If not, then you're leaking out to the flat. So the quarterback has two oh no's backside. So remember, one, two, three. As you can tell, nothing changes for the quarterback, and that's one of the beautiful things about this route. Here we are in our two-back set, and one of the reasons why I really like the Y cross out of a two-back is you get it forces the defense to put eight to nine people in the box because most defenses see two backs and they're thinking run. That's fine. I'm not going to run the ball because that's stupid to run it against that many people in the box. Look at all those people. If I was to run that ball, I'd be an idiot. But what it does do is it forces a one-on-one -on -one situation with one of my better guys. And remember, that's the whole thing about the spread. My guys, I think, are better than your guys. Even though this may be a defensive genius and he's going D1, we rep the piss out of this play so many times that he is good enough that he knows how to use leverage technique to get open. So the quarterback, he sees one on one, one, two, three, just throws it up there. Now, it's not a great throw, but we rep the piss out of the route so much that the, the, the wide receiver is able to use his, his technique to get that guy to lean just a little bit so he can slip on by him. The last way we like to run our Y cross is out of our three by one. And it changes the rules just a little bit, but if you practice this every day, it won't matter to the quarterback. The L is running his mandatory outside release. The quarterback, you're going one, two, three, plant. Is there color in this grass area? No, then you let it fly. Is there color in this grass area? Yes. Then you hitch up. And notice we don't have the F running the out route. That is, that's the, that's one of the change ups. So you're going to hitch up and now you're going to look for the cross. And again, even though the back's right here or the backer, you still have to get underneath him, push it about five to six yards, and then you're getting 18 yards to 22 to the opposite hash. So under the mic, over the, I'm sorry, under the Sam, over the mic, and you're looking, for, you're still looking for that hole, that grass area to throw up hands. So if the quarterback doesn't like this, he's hitching up, he's looking for this route right here. Is there color in that area? No, then you throw it. Is there color in that grass area? Yes, then you hitch up, and then you look for the 10 yard dig. Is that open. And remember, you're coming off the line R, you're planting at 10, and then you're finding the area. You're finding the grass. You're, once you settle in grass, the settle up noose drill, that's where it comes important. You throw your hands and you're looking your eyes at the quarterback, just waiting for it. So the quarterback's here. He doesn't like this hitch. He doesn't like this hitch. He's looking backside. Is it open? Is there color in that area, in that grass area? No. Then you throw it. Is there color in that grass area? Yes. Then you're hitching up and you're looking for the flat. The flat is your last one. So it goes one, two, three, flat, and then the tailback has got his release. This is the oh no right here. Here we are, we're in three by one. We're running our Y cross, so he has got the vertical. He is now running underneath the Sam, so this is our Sam underneath him over the top of the mic and pushing it 18 to 22 yards. Notice how the wide receiver sees grass in front of him. That's why he keeps running. If there was a defender on that hash, then he would have settled up and shown the hands. But since there was no defender there, he saw the grass and he kept running. We got the 10-yard dig and then the flat route.
Notice the grass is right there, so he goes and takes it. It's it's really simple. I know it's not R4 or it's not the normal way, and it doesn't sound smart, but I find if you just say, hey, guys, there's grass, run to the grass where there's nobody at, the players actually know that better. There you have it, coaches. Those are the three different ways we run our Y-Cross series. And if you do something different, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I want to know if you run the Y-Cross out of another formation because I want to get toward that because I think this is going to be our answer to the four verts play when we put it into our package. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe because I put a video out every Saturday morning. And before you go, wait, wait, wait. Click this banner right here. It'll take you to my website where you can download a, a, my free ebook. It's on the One Back Power RPO. And in, until next week, coaches, let's remember to continue to master the spread, score points, and have fun.